In this particular tutorial, what we want to take a look at is how to make use of some of the shortening services for URLs that are available to you. Uh, many times these days when you're about visiting a, uh, a news website like ESPN or ABC or, or CNN, uh, those systems are based off of content management systems where multiple people are writing articles in many different topics. And a lot of times the URLs to those specific articles, once you're in a few levels, will be fairly complicated. And, uh, and don't make a whole lot of sense to the general user. So in order to make things a little bit more friendly and also to take those URLs from as long as they are down to something that's much more manageable, there are certain shortening services that are out there that you can make use of. And many times you'll see this if you're following anybody on Twitter or if you're using any other social networking site. A lot of those social networking sites will shorten URLs uh, to make it convenient to save room in various postings. So I'll show you two examples today on how to take this URL. It's from ESPN.com about a soccer game that was played. And I'll copy that article uh, and make use of two services. The first is called Bitly. And Bitly.com, if you go there, you can simply drop the URL into the shortening link box. And then you see there's a certain algorithm as to how that um, link is shortened. And you can grab that link and copy it. You see it successfully copied to your clipboard, and then you can paste that into your tweet or your web page or in your Facebook profile. You'll also notice over to the right, Bitly has a sidebar tool that you could add um, to a, a certain browser. The second service, which is very similar but uses a different al algorithm, is called Owly. So I can take that same URL and go to owly.com, and I can paste that URL. Oops. That's the shortened version. So let's grab the long version, copy that, and swing back over to the shortening service. Remove the former, paste in the full, and click shrink it. That'll take just a second. Then it asks me to uh, perform that captcha. And then click shrink it. And you'll see that it would trim that you're out down to something that's much more manageable, but this time using Owly's algorithm rather than Bitly's. So then you could take that URL and you could copy it and you could paste it into your Twitter or your Facebook profile. 